Welcome back guys to MG Rebuild. Uh, today we're going to uh, rebuild the front brake assembly and um, see how we go with that. Okay, um, I've already made a bit of a start on this one. Um, I never took the king pin out, so that, that's been, I left that in there, cleaned it all up and painted it. Um, I have obviously painted the, the back plate, mounted on one of the brake cylinders, put a new seal in there and the bearing. So got to mount the other bear, um, other wheel cylinder in there. What are you doing? New little toy here. It's just a little quick hand wrench or socket. They can go both ways. Right yeah, I've got some uh, new brake shoes, because, as I said before, the other ones were actually, the front ones were worn, had been used, um, and I just wasn't comfortable in using them. Uh, too big a risk, so I decided to replace them. Now, where am I? Brake adjusters. Now for the fun bit, it's getting these brake shoes connected. You know how much fun we had last time with the, uh, the back ones? Well, the front one's going to be worse. One eternity later. Okay. It's in. Yes! Okay, one thing I did forget um, when I was doing the brakes is I've actually got to put on these little fellas first before I can actually put the backing plate on, otherwise you can't wind them on. Um, now what I've done, uh, because I mentioned in an earlier video when I was pulling it all apart, the actual bushes and the little pins were a little bit worn, so I've actually replaced them. So I've taken the old ones out and I've put new ones in. Now, part of the process is I've actually have now got to ream them out and hone them out so the actual bush, which uh, 
the pin, I should say. These little fellas fit in nice and snug at the moment. They won't fit at all. So, good friend of mine, Marv, has loaned me his reaming tool. So, I haven't used one of these before, so bear with me. Um, <clears throat> hopefully, I can get it working right. I'm just gonna take off little bits of uh, metal each time. This is just some light machine oil. Now it's just a matter of placing it in here and just winding it through. Okay, if you can see on there, next to the flutes, those long metal pieces there, that's the actual cutting bars as such, all this fine brass material. That's the inside of the bush. So as you can see, it's taken off a little bit on the first pass. So what I've got to do now is do that to the other three, step it out a little bit further, and then go again. Now this is the same bush, but what I've got to do each time, I've got to clean this off, Otherwise, it's going to contaminate the next one and make a scores. So just a bit of brake cleaner. As you can see there, it's all nice and spotless again. Oil it back up. Doesn't matter if you put too much on there, it's better to have too much than not enough. Yeah, this this one here had a very slight bit of damage when I put it in, and the the tool has just taken it taking that off for me. So let's fix that up. As you can see with that one there, brought out a lot of brass. Okay. 
Now, I know it's not going to fit yet, but we'll just give it a try. Yep, that's it. So what we need to do now is wind this in and make it a little bit wider with a cut. Okay, guys, that's the end of this video. Um, Rigging those bushes took about five hours. Um, There's obviously only four to do, but it was just, I think I'd only end up doing about 20 passes with the actual reamer and then quite a bit of honing just to make sure it's a nice, tight, snug fit. So yeah, certainly a long process. Um, I've now taken the backing plate off the uh, off the brakes, off the yeah, off the actual brakes. Um, put on the uh, the swivel joints at the you know the kingpin ends, whatever they're called, and just reassembled everything. So um, next video I'll put that assembly onto the chassis. So don't forget to like, subscribe, um, share. You know, and also do the uh, post notifications as well so you don't miss out on any, any episodes. Until next time, see you later.